If you're a long time uh, follower of this channel, you'll know one of my all time favorite franchises are the, the Settlers. I've played it since the very first game came out, uh, back on the Amiga, I believe. And my favorite Settlers games are two, three, and four. I think they haven't been beaten yet. Um, it it kind of lost its way a bit uh, towards the final few games, um, but it's back in 2022, hopefully, with The Settlers. It's, it's just called The Settlers. There was an alpha version of this in 2019, and uh, I never got a chance to play it, but I have seen some videos of it. And the alpha in 2019 is way better than the beta, the closed beta that I've been playing this weekend. Now, unfortunately, I only got wind of this on, I think it was Sunday evening at about one o'clock in the morning, uh, that, that there was even a closed beta. So I quickly got it, got my hands on it. Um, but I only got, got to play the game for a couple of hours, which kind of sucks because I, I had other things that I had to get done. So I was um, at a loss of, of, of hours, but I had enough to learn the ropes because, you know, I'm, I'm a seasoned Settlers player and I kind of know the, the ins and outs of it. And guys, I don't know how to say this. It's fucking awful. I can't believe this is the Settlers. It doesn't play like a Settlers game at all. It, it's more like Age of Empires. Now, Age of Empires is a great game, but I don't want to play Age of Empires when it's a Settlers game. It's just been nerfed. Well, not, not, no, that's, I'll take that back. It's been dumbed down, guys. A, another game. Oh, I hate the gaming industry now. It's fucking awful. They did this with Mafia. They do this with everything. They do this with everything now. They just... I don't know what it is. Is, it, is there a disease going around where game developers just fucking suck now? The big ones I'm talking about. Not indie game developers. I'm talking about the big game... No, they just... Are they just all just shite now? What the fuck is wrong with them? you got to settle... Do you know what the Settlers is? If you don't know what the Settlers is, it is probably the deepest city builder ever made. The supply chains in, in the Settlers are legendary. That's what makes the game. Now it's just turned into a, a quick combat RTS. That's it. That, how 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 can you do this to, to the, my favourite franchise in city building? But th they've managed to do it. You see, what The Settlers is about, for those who don't understand, The Settlers has always been about building up a thriving economy. That will then allow you to build up a strong military. But if you do not build up a thriving economy, you cannot build up a strong military and you will lose the game. It has always been about the economy first, not the military first. The military is the end game. It's always been the end game. The main game has been get your strong economy going. Defend your territory with, with towers and forts, but get that economy going. Once you've got that economy going, then you can really build a very good military, get it all ranked up, and then kick the ass of the AI or the other player or whatever. Now, you <laughs> sorry, I burst out laughing there, but I'm just thinking about how bad it is now. Now you don't have to bother. The thriving economy is so easy. It's just put building there, 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 there. There you go. Economy done. Now build up your military. You can build an army up in like half an hour. It's like, what are you doing? What? Do you know what? You don't even need food. Can you be? Can you actually, guys? Food? Nah. You got farms and all of this, but you don't need it. You can mine unlimited as well. The mines. <laughs> I can't believe how bad this is. Fuck off, Ubisoft. Hey, hey, fuck off. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Sack them. Sack them all. Sack them. Get rid of them. We don't want these people in the gaming industry. They're ruining it, man. They're ruining the fucking gaming industry. Settlers. Right, this is how Settlers works. I'm going to remind Ubisoft how their own fucking game works. This is how it works, Ubisoft. Sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen. What you do, you have Settlers, little gadgets. You send prospectors out. Not engineers, prospectors into the mountains. Because there's gold, iron, coal, sulfur, all kinds of shit in their mountains. It was so exciting. You'd send your prospectors into these vast mountain ranges. And, that you know, they'd be... Looking, no, uh, nothing here, nothing there. But after about, I don't know, 10 minutes, I found something. I found something. A little a little trace here of coal. Oh, keep checking that area. It might get bigger. Yes, there's a bigger trace. 
There's an even bigger trace. Perfect for a mine. Oh, but is it? Look at the angle of that. I might not be able to get a mine on there. No, no, not all that's gone. All that excitement's gone. Now there's a little patch of discoloured f***ing land. Flat as f***. Totally flat. And it's guaranteed to have stuff in. It, it, you, you know there's stuff in there. There is not a single patch on the map where there's no stuff in. It's like, found it. What do you mean you found it? You haven't even prospected. It's there. Send the prospect. I guarantee it's there. There it is. Iron and coal. Perfect. Build your f***ing mines. Get the coal pumping out. Get the iron pumping out. Oh, no, I can't. Because there's no food. Oh, they don't need food. These are androids. They don't need to be fed. They'll always keep supplying it. But if you do give them food, they'll work a little bit faster. But you don't need that anyway. They'll just get the, get the stuff out. And do you know what? It's unlimited. What do you mean it's f***ing unlimited? It's unlimited. So you don't have to worry about finding any more. This is 2022 unlimited android miners. F*** off, please. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. If you do want to have food that you don't actually need, it's instant. It's instant. Oh, I've, I've, th 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 there's a ranch. What's the ranch man do? He makes pigs and donkeys. <laughs> How? They're android pigs and donkeys? How are they android? Because they don't require any water whatsoever. No, because there's no water in the game. There's no wells in the game. No one drinks. Everybody's a f***ing android in this game. You don't need that. Bread, bread, flour and water. No, just flour. We cut out all the water. But how do you get meat then? If oh, well, well, what it does, the guy makes pigs just out of wheat. The wheat, wheat android pigs, that's what they're called. And they instantly cut up. There's no slaughterhouse. They don't have to be butchered, you see. Because it come, it doesn't actually come out as a pig. There's a couple of pigs for sure there, but that's not real. It's just sliced processed meat. It's a supermarket. But what about all the settlers controlling them all? You know how in settlers you have to... Um, keep tabs on how many carriers you've got, how many prospectors you've got, how many scouts you've got, how many miners you've got. No, engineers are everything pretty much. Engineers take the role of the builders, the prospectors, uh, the land grabbers, everything. Everything's an engineer now. Just, just you know, one, one, one box to tick the lot of them, you know, that'll do. But no, you, you've got to have all the different settlers to do the different things, because you've got to have uh, the different tools, you know, you build like sides for the farmers. You build, no, no, all that's gone as well. Everybody just uses a hammer now. Just, in fact, they don't actually use a hammer. Um, they don't use tools at all. They use their face. You have tools now are just like for trading and for picking up these imaginary rewards that you see that are just hidden around the map. Um, so when when you build a blacksmith, he uses his face. Uh, that's that, 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 that's how it works now. And, and also while we're talking about um, all of this stuff, that's all been dumbed down as well, the way that the weapons and, and all the military is all made. No longer do you have to have all the grape vine the vineyards and all of that where you sacrifice stuff to the gods to help level up your soldier through the ranks no there's just what we've done now is it's just look there's some coins that you can get through uh trading which i'll come about in a second and all you do with them is you just buy researchers and then, then that, that's all all in one box that's all it's all just just easy now just one little box and that but you do still have a harbor you have a harbor oh thank f for that so you have a harbor and you can put your guys on ships and send them out oh no no the harbor's just your market now that's all the mark it's just it's it's just so you can buy wood well, what, what do i want to buy wood for i can chop all the trees down and and grow new ones and no, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you, you can't grow trees anymore. We've took out the, 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 the guy who plants the trees. You don't need that anymore. What do you mean I don't need that anymore? Like, why are you talking to yourself? Because that's what that's f***ing drove me up the f***ing twist, man, guys. You can't even... There's no such thing as a forest now. You can't, you can't say, do you know what? That's going to be me forest area there. So I'll put up a forester's hut there. He can start planting all these. I'll put uh, a couple of loggers there and a sawmill there. That's that economy sorted out. No... No, when you chop all the trees down, the f***ers will never grow back and you can't plant anymore. You have to trade them with a ship. Guys, I hate it. I hate it. I hate this f***ing game. I could go on. That's only... There's loads more. You can't even rotate the f***ing map with your mouse. It's Q&E. <laughs> off. Guys, you don't even expand your territory with military towers. You don't even have forts anymore. You don't even have the three types of tower. You have to send engineers out to steal the land by, pin, you know, when they, they put the little pins down and, and say, this land is now mine. That's how you do that. It's a soulless experience now. This isn't the settlers. This is some kind of multiplayer now. You can see where it's going. Little tiny f***ing RTS game where the emphasis is on building up your f***ing military. What an absolute shit fest this is. I can't believe 
that I'm playing a set. Well, I'm not playing a settlers game. Hey, you can call it the settlers till the fucking cows come home. This isn't settlers, so you can f that right off. This isn't the settlers. This is called the pricks. That's what this is now called the pricks. Because everybody in this game's a little fucking prick. They've got rid of all the chains pretty much that you had that was so lovingly done through the settlers. Everything that made the game great, everything that made you proud to build up your economy, to build up your, your whole village or town or city, however big you got it, and then bring in your military off the backbone of your economy. All that's gone. Gone. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. And what you've got is a skeleton of what settlers used to be, with focus being totally on the military and everything else just... There, yeah, that'll do. Ah, oh, that'll do. Ah, oh, that'll do. Oh, that building there'll do. It'll just do. Welcome to gaming in 2022. The graphics look nice. I'll give them that. The graphics and the building animations, fantastic. There you are. We'll end on a positive note.